Hello, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you coming and watching my videos. I am so excited to bring you a double wig review today for Shirley's Wig Shop. Just a quick reminder, Shirley's has a really great online private Facebook group. It's called Shirley's Wig Shop, Hairs Looking at You Kid, and I invite you to come and join the group. Today, we're gonna to take a look at two new styles from the Beltress Luxe Collection. The one I have on my head is called Missoni, and I'm also going to be showing you Spade. So, we'll get into these in just a second. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you is the cap construction for these two because I decided to do it as a double review because they have the exact same cap. So we'll do the cap construction first and then we'll get into both of the styles. So, and I am wearing a uh, Mazzoni right now and this one is in the Shaken Oat Milk Blonde R, which is number code 825-613 plus eight. Okay, so here's the cap. So we have a full mono top. Now that striping that you're seeing is just because this is an unrooted color, and that is just a combination of the colors that are sewn, the synthetic fibers, the different colors that are sewn into the wig. So you're not gonna see that pattern on every single cap, but just so if you're a newer wig, weather, wig wearer, just so you know what you're looking at. So there's that full mono top. That allows you to part anywhere, and I'll show you that on this one in just a second. And then on this cap, you have an ear-to-ear -ear lace front. It gives you really, really great, very natural looking coverage around the face. I'll show you that in more detail in a moment as well, but just a really, really great feature for this cap. There are polyurethane tabs on the ear tabs, and that is where the metal stay is. So you still have that ability to uh, mold that to your face with that metal stay. Then we have a hand tied cap. So you can see all that hand tied area and then there's a little bit of closed wefting here at the very back that just helps the hair lay down, helps strengthen the cap a little bit. There is some stretch in these panels in the cap as well. And then you have just a slightly extended lace covered nape and pull adjusters. These are also the Beltress heat friendly synthetic fibers. Okay, so first off, we will start talking about this Missoni, and the color, like I said, is Shaken Oat Milk Blonde Rooted. Long, long color name, but very, very pretty, cool blonde. So I'll do a turn so you can see her. So cute. I love the waves. I love the length. This is a great length for summer. The back is super cute. Really, really cute. The only place I'm having a little bit of an issue is I feel like we need just a tad more curl in this piece. So when I do some styling on this one, we are going to curl that piece and see if we can't get it to have just a little bit more oomph. Whenever I took out the zigzag part, I felt like this piece was more, uh, you know, kind of in line with these, this swooping bang. But when I opened the part over here, I'm like, well, now I kind of have a blah side. So we're gonna put a little curl in that girl and I'll show you just how easy it is to add a little bit of curl to these heat friendly fibers. Okay, so here is that lace front. Looks so good. This color has light knots up there at the front and then I can show you all the way around here. So there's that ear to ear lace. You have such a natural looking hairline with this piece. The only thing that I do find is like if you're going to style it where you tuck it behind the ears or something, I like to use that little polyurethane tab to put a little piece of tape on so that I stick that down because these lace ear tabs can just uh, flake up, flip up just a little, not flake, flip up just a tiny bit on the edge and you can sometimes see that lace. There's also a little excess lace on this one up here at the lace front that I would trim away. I don't know how well you can see that on camera, but I would trim that away as well. So I parted this one on the left because that's where the zigzag was, but with this full mono top, you can part it wherever you would like. So really, really nice feature. Okay, so as far as the way this cap is fitting me, these caps are fitting my petite measurements pretty nicely, but there is a little extra room in the cap that I can feel where it definitely is an average fit. I didn't have to bring the adjusters in on this one. Um, another one that I have tried on, I did have to bring the adjusters in. So I think they're pretty true to average, but if you're petite, I think you're gonna find that the ear to ear measurement is okay. I'm 11 ear to ear and I feel like it's perfect on me. And then 13 forehead to nape and I feel like that fits me very nicely. The cap is very snug, you know, not snug snug, but it feels very snug for a petite head, you know what I mean? For an average, 
as as average caps go fitting on my petite head i feel like i have a good fit that makes more sense <laughs> so but anyway like i said there is there is stretch in this panel up here so there is room you know to accommodate average and just above average okay so let's look at measurements for mazzoni so we have on the sides and i suppose the front as well it says it is eight to ten and a half inches so I would say we've got an eight inch, you know, up in here, that that's where those layers are coming in. And then we go down to a 10 inch, you know. So really, really nice, easy length to wear. Um, nape, they give a three to five inch measurements. So there are some just slightly shorter hairs underneath at the nape, you don't really see them. And then I guess maybe as you go up that extended nape that must get up to five inches as well. So three to five inches on the nape. Overall, they give a measurement of 11 inches and the weight is 3.5 ounces. Okay, let's take a look at this pretty color. So like I said, this is the Shaken Oat Milk Blonde Rooted and the color code is 825613 plus eight. So that plus eight is the root of an eight. And then I guess they put an eight at the beginning because there's that's either blended into the color or it's a base. So let's look at the description. So they say it's a medium brown root, and here we go, medium and light brown base with cool and neutral blondes with light blonde highlights. So really, really pretty blonde. Um, like I said, I would say it is like neutral to cool in tone. Even this root color has a little bit of a cooler tone to it. And you'll see that rooting anywhere, you know, you separate the hair. You'll see it more as you come down towards the ear tabs and you'll see it underneath on the nape, but this isn't one you're gonna be putting up. So that would just be, you know, with the wind blowing or something that you would see it, but. So here we are in natural light right by my patio door window. You can see those blonde tones. There's the rooting. Here's the lace front and the rooting as you go down. Okay, here we are. I'm still under my patio cover. You can really see the dimension in this light. This wig is so cute. Okay, really, really love this color. So pretty. And this style is absolutely adorable. The longer I have it on my head, the more I'm just like, oh, I love this. It's so cute. Okay, so I am going to show you how we are going to curl this little piece over here because it is still bugging me. But um, as far as other styling, you know, these pieces are very easy to tuck behind the ears. So, you know, these... Um, Ear, piece, ear tabs are super thin, so your glasses, got a pair of glasses, are super easy with them. And that's my heat tool that just kicked in. Um, and you know, you can put the glasses up on your head. I mean, these caps are so nice. So obviously you can do your headbands. You can pull this, you know, off the face as much as you want to. You could pull the whole piece back if you wanted to. Like I said, the only thing I caution you against is don't pull it back too hard so that you expose that lace. Try to make sure you're being mindful of those ear tabs and you can always use some adhesive right there if you need to. Okay, so hot tool is ready. So you can use about 300 degrees on these fibers. And I am just going to give this one a twirl and let's see what happens. Oh yeah, see, super easy. I'm much happier. It's going in with that other curl better. Can't get one of these shorter layers too because I feel like I just need a little more. This is not, isn't that easy to do on camera, but yeah, there we go. 
Easy peasy. So you can add as much as you want to. I'm gonna split this up just a little bit and do this other layer. Yeah, yeah, I like that better. So that's what it needed. It just needed a little more curl. Matches this side a little better, having just a little more curl on this side. And it is getting that, just giving a little more oomph to that side that was not laying quite properly. So, okay, I'm gonna pop this one off and we will look at the next one. Okay, so now we will turn our attention to Spade in Hazelnut Syrup, which is 633-613. And Spade is just almost the same style as Mazzoni, but it is just a little bit longer. So you can see the same type of a wave pattern, you know, waves going away from the face. I do think I could maybe add a little curl here, just like I did on the Missoni, but it's not its not too bad. Um, I did use my hot comb just to open up that part. And um, this is an unrooted color, as you can see. So, uh, but yeah, just a, a little bit longer version of, you know, of the Missoni style. So a really, really cute as well. So this one is fitting me the same way. Ear to ear, it's fine. Forehead to nape, there's definitely some extra room. And I feel like on this one, I could pull in my adjusters um, for my circumference just a little bit. Uh, doesn't need a lot of adjustment there, but I think just a little tiny bit of adjustment would definitely work. So these are, of course, again, the heat-friendly fibers, just like on the Sony, same, you know, same uh, cap construction and all of that. Okay, so we can take a look at the lace front and the part and everything. So there's the lace on this hazelnut syrup. So uh, very light colors there at the front. So very invisible at the lace front. And then here's the part. I had some trouble with this part. This one is uh, very low density on the top, I noticed. So, um, and with the, without having the root, I do feel like with this color, you get a little bit of a stripey effect to that part. So that would probably need to be plucked and you could apply some makeup there, you know, to, to make that part look more natural. That's what I would do. Okay, so here is the ear to ear lace front. Really, really looks nice. And these, by the way, do have really, really great coverage at the ear tabs. I'm happy with that too. So I think if you have, I don't have bio hair there, but I think if you do have bio hair there, you should get pretty good coverage. Really, really nice. And of course, this is another one. This is a full mono top, so you can change your part around, you know, if you want to. So I debated on where to put the part, but it seemed to be laying, laying best here, just right of center. So, so the measurements for Spade are, uh, she has 10 inch sides And a nape of two and a half to three inches. Now that's the same nape as Missoni. That's interesting. I definitely feel like the, uh, this one definitely looks longer. What was the side measurement for Missoni again? Eight, eight to 10. So this one is just 10. And then overall they say seven to 11. So there's a seven inch layer up here. And then we go down to 11 and it's just slightly longer right here in the front, I feel like. Is that right? I guess I'll see it on my editing. Well, maybe not. I When I first put it on, I thought it was longer there, but it looks to be the same. Yeah, it looks to be the same length. So there's 11 here. Uh, an 11 inch layer is the longest layer going through there. And then weight wise, she comes in at 3.9 ounces. Okay, so let's talk about this color. So this is the hazelnut syrup. Like I said, it's a 6, a 33, and a 613 with no root. So it is an unrooted color. It's a mixture of medium brown and a hint of dark auburn and gold blonde that's highlighted with a light blonde. So back in the back is where I see more of the 6. They seem to really concentrate the lighter colors here at the front. Now, of course, even, even on the um, on the lace front, you know, it's a little lighter up here at the very top, but it stays pretty light going down there to the bottom. And since it doesn't have a root, it just has that six that's uh, going through there as a base. So it looks like a heavily highlighted six, but you can see back in here, you can see more of that brunette.
lots of dimension to the color. Really, really pretty. Okay, so here we are in the lighting right as I'm about to go outside, right in front of the window of my patio door. Again, I'm noticing that the, you know, brunette down in this area on the side, there's that gold blonde. I would say this one is uh, neutral with some warm tone with the gold going through it. It's giving the color warmth. So here we are, overcast day. So I'm under the patio cover and I'll step out here into the natural light, misting a little bit. Okay, really, really pretty color. So I'm kind of changing my mind now that I've had her on for a while and she got spritzed with a little rain outside. I think I'm okay with this front layer now. So what I wanted to talk about with that is that when you take a wig out of the box and you do find that maybe it has a funky curl, you can do you know one of two things. You can use your heat tool on these heat friendly fibers up to 300 degrees and you can try, you can fix that one little curl and that a lot of times it's just one little spot and that'll do the trick. Or you may just need to spritz it with some water and scrunch it a little bit and work with it a little bit and you'll find that you can get it to, you know, work into the rest of the style or curl better on its own. Maybe it just had a little bit of, you know, it was a little smashed in the box or smashed by the hairnet or something and it'll just work itself out. So I'll just let this one, this one be the example of using water on it, I guess is what I'm saying versus, you know, curling it. So but really, really easy again to tuck behind the ears. Uh, these are low density. There's no permatees in this hand tied cap. So, you know, there's, your glasses are gonna be super easy. Any style that I'm doing on this one, you could do on the other one because neither one of them are gonna be one that you would do like an updo. So really cute with a headband. You could pull out, you know, these little curls at the side as well if you wanted to. And I love that this one has long sides. So I think these sides, we can pull back. Now with waves, sometimes I have to kind of twist it a little bit to, to pull it back, but do the best we can on camera here. But yeah, I think you can get it clipped. If it won't stay back in a claw clip, you could always clip it right behind the ear as well. And that would be cute. And then of course you can use your little clips and you know pull it back however you want to off the lace front. You know, you can get pull back, I'm pulling the wig off my head here of doing this, but um, you know, you could pull up a bump here in the front because you've got this full mono top, so your part can be anywhere and that would be really cute as well. So lots of really, really pretty styling options for this cute spade as well as Mazzoni. So, oh, I got a little tangle. Let's just straighten that out. There we go. But really easy to just kind of scrunch and fluff back these, you know, fluff these curls back such such a pretty style so so i want to thank shirley's for sending these wigs to review for you all there will be purchase information as well as a link to join the private facebook group in the description down below the video thanks so much for watching take care of yourselves and until next time don't forget you're absolutely beautiful Bye bye